What's going on everyone, it's Sanoflex here. In this video, I'm spotlighting Placeable Statics Move Anything by Iceberg. And this is a really neat mod that allows you what to you pretty anything? much... I'm doing a video, Lydia. It allows you to pick up and move furniture like a chair, a little table, an actual big table, crafting stations like an alchemy table, enchanting table, etc. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to... Uh, well, you'll need to get the mod of course, but once you get the mod you'll get um, two new powers in your power menu, one of which is select furniture, and this is pretty much the main spell you'll use. The other one, place furniture, is used later, and I'll explain that later. Um, so select furniture, and then look at an item of interest, so this chair for instance. Use the power, pick it up, and then the noble chair will be added to your inventory, that's the name of the chair, or the item will be added to your inventory, and it'll be underneath the book menu. So here is the chair in the book menu. You can kind of see a cool 3D model of it. And then you'll go ahead and drop it, and then I'll put it back on the ground. Then you could pick it up like a piece of clutter and just kind of move it around freely, drop it. But you can't sit down on it, and if you run up to it, you'll move it around. Kind of like a, I guess like a hockey puck. Kind of like a weird hockey collision. Anyway, so if you want to, I don't know, put the chair like kind of right in the fire like I have here, you can either fix the object here, and that'll make it refresh and it'll then it'll actually stick to the game rolls so it'll become static again where you can actually sit back into it. You can take the object back to go back to your inventory or you can rotate it around with the Z, Y, and um, X axis. And then you can of course reset it so if you mess up you can reset it back to the default flat state. So I just kind of want to take it back because I don't want it in the fire and I want to place it around this way that way I can have a chair facing the fire like that. Scoot it up just a bit and fix it right there. And then now you can interact with the piece of furniture again. Just like that. Another cool feature of the mod is that if you pick up a chest that has stuff inside of it, you'll automatically get everything that's inside the chest back in your inventory. That way you can pick up the chest without losing any materials that were inside of it. And then earlier I mentioned the place furniture spell, and this is used for when you have a piece of furniture that gets stored in the spell buffer, meaning that it doesn't have a 3D model of it yet, that way it's just kind of stored in a separate space of Skyrim, and you can access it and place it back into the game world using the place furniture command. But you'll need to have something in the spell buffer. Another really cool part of placeable statics is when you try to move something or steal a piece of furniture that you don't own with the select furniture spell you'll get a message that says you don't own that and then the object will glow green. And that's a pretty neat touch, that way you just can't go into a bunch of the NPCs' homes and just rearrange everything and steal everything in sight. Another really cool feature of the mod is that sometimes you'll be able to find furniture pieces in vendor stores. So these vendors are usually general goods sellers, blacksmiths, or innkeepers. So keep an eye out for those when you visit places like that, that way you can pick up pieces of furniture. and. Uh, Overall, Placeable Statics is a great mod. I'd recommend it to anyone that wants to redecorate their home, specifically if you have the Hearthfire DLC, or if you have a custom-made player home that you want to rearrange certain stuff with. So definitely keep this mod tracked, as it's still a work in progress as of this video. And thanks for watching this Skyrim Mod Spotlight. See ya!